Howdy friends, music lovers, West here, checking in with my April 2014 vinyl finds, sort of a wrap up of the things I uh, bought during the month that didn't fit into, well, the, I guess the only other finds videos I had this month were from the library sale, which was, you know, it's always a, a big, pretty big haul from the library sale, so I do those separately, but these are the things I did through mail order and various other uh, thrift finds here and there, so I just wanted to go ahead and wrap this up and talk about what I've been buying this month and what I've been digging and uh, just say hello hope everyone's doing really well so let's go ahead and get into it first thing we got here is a pickup from the Goodwill got some private label folk music on Royal American Records this is Russ Jeffers and Smoky Mountain Sunshine guitar dobro fiddle banjo mandolin uh, just some some bluegrassy type uh, country folk music here. I uh, got a nice stack of records from a nice little haul I had at the hospice thrift store. Uh, first thing we got here is the greatest hits of John Lee Hooker on Kent Records. Nice little uh, blues addition to my collection. I don't have a lot of blues in my collection so that's a good addition. Uh, next up is, are two albums from a folk group known as the Seldom Scene. Uh, I believe they are from up in the, the Massachusetts area somewhere, somewhere up in the, in the Northeast area. Uh, really awesome, awesome group. I, I never heard of them before. Um, this is their, uh, their, I think, believe this is their debut album, Act One. It's really well recorded also. Just one of the best sounding folk music albums I've ever heard I, uh, as well. I mean, just awesome sounding piece of vinyl that just beautifully recorded and, and great folk music here played so really nice find from that and then here is a live album I have from them from the cellar door recently got the uh, Neil Young at the cellar door album and uh, here's a, a folk group playing there two LP set on that one so that was nice um, here's the the Carly Simon debut album uh, this is the one that I uh, Originally purchased, this is a, a promo copy of this album, White Label Promo. Talked about this in my in my library sale haul where I bought another copy of this album because this one doesn't have the poster in it and that one did. So I'm going to sort of take the poster out of that one and put it in this one and keep this White Label Promo of the uh, debut album from Carly Simon. And last but definitely not least, a Weavers album on Vanguard, Traveling On with the Weavers. Beautiful condition copy. Love, love, love finding Weaver's albums. They're not easy to find and uh, awesome uh, folk music here. All right, so moving on, keeping with the folk theme, uh, the Florida Folk Festival will be happening at the end of this month, Memorial Day. And the headliners this year at the Florida Folk Festival are uh, JJ Gray and Mofro. And this is their most recent album, The River. So once I, once I, uh, you know, noticed that they were headlining. I decided to go ahead and pick up uh, pick up their latest album on vinyl. They're on uh, they're on Alligator Records, so they have they do have vinyl releases, which is nice, and it'll be fun to uh, acquaint myself with their music. They do sort of a, a southern rock, swamp rock kind of thing. So uh, that comes with uh, it's on 180 gram vinyl, and it's got a download code, so that was nice. Yeah, going to be seeing them later this month, hopefully, if the weather is good, and uh, look forward to that. Uh, next up is a discovery I had from the TV show Parenthood, really a favorite TV show of mine right now. An awesomely written and acted show, and I, I love it to death, and it's, it's probably my favorite show on TV right now. And it always has really interesting music, and there was one song that played in a recent episode and I immediately had to find out what it was. Uh, and it turns out it was a track from the band Junip. And Junip are a Swedish band. Uh, they are listed as several different genres. It's, it's one of those bands that's really hard to tie, tie them down. I've seen them, I've seen them listed as indie rock. I've seen them listed as folk. I've seen them listed as psych. Absolutely, they have all of those aspects in their music. Uh, but it's just really good, interesting music and and like I said the one the the first track on here called in every direction 
was the song that was playing in the, the TV show. Totally an awesome track. I'll try to put a link down in the show notes to where you can check that one out. Some beautiful artwork here. I really love I really love the packaging on this. Really nice and thick and heavy packaging. Pretty artwork. And an inserts have have lyrics and some more art on them. And this one includes a download code as well. So, you know, just a nicely done vinyl packaging. This album is from 2010. They did release a second album last year in 2013. I just saw Mike Bostoni and Reggie showing in a video last night. Uh, so that was pretty cool that uh, he showed and talked about that. And I have a feeling I'm probably gonna be, I'm probably gonna be getting that one as well because I really like this music and it's really, it's really good music in it hits on a lot of different genres and you know you know my videos are all over the place when it comes to genre I, there's not much i don't like so anytime a music can blend a lot of different genres together it's just awesome awesome in my opinion uh, here's something from very early in the month i don't think i talked about it last month in last month's video i think it maybe came the day after i made the video but this is beck's release from this year morning phase i know a lot of people in the vc have talked about it i'm sure a, a lot of you have heard it my record store kept selling out of it and finally i bugged them enough and they 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 held one for me when the next batch came in so uh grabbed this uh, really beautiful ethereal wonderful rich sounding album i mean the, the 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 music matches the cover definitely on this one beautiful album really been enjoying spinning this and uh really nice uh next thing we got here is uh Hmm. I think this was something I heard on uh, All Songs Considered. This is the band High as a Kite. This is from this year, I believe, 2014, on Propeller Records. They're sort of a a chill wave kind of sound, I guess you could say. Very electronic, very smooth, you know, ocean surf sort of sound. I guess you could say just very smooth and relaxing and calming kind of music. The sad thing about this is the pressing on this, it's, it's not very good. It's pretty, it's pretty, it's got a lot of pops and crackles on it, you know, and I, I even cleaned this before I spun it, and it still was a pretty noisy pressing, you know, so I'm not, not too happy with Propeller Records pressing. Uh, there is a download with this, at least I can listen to it, but the vinyl is, is disappointing on this, but I, I really like the music, and every once in a while I'll just hear something on that show that, that grabs me and, and I'll go ahead and order it just to check it out. Uh, so last year we got uh, some record store day pickups. I hope everyone out there had a good record store day. Normally record store day is on the same day as the library sale for me. So it's always a challenge for me, but luckily this year they were a week apart. So, you know, we had first we had the library sale and then the record store day was the next week after that. Uh, my local store, there's only one store here in town that participates in Record Store Day. Uh, they open at 10 o'clock. I think that's their normal time. Maybe it might be an hour or so earlier than they open. But they're, you know, they're not one of those stores that opens really early. I thought about going down there maybe a little bit before 10 or right at 10. But I just sort of decided to be lazy and, you know, relax around the house on that Saturday and uh, enjoy my morning. Got up and watched a few videos that morning, and I saw some art. You know, some people from the UK had already posted their finds, so I saw those, and I just it started building up in me this, this desire to go down to the record store. So around noon, I went down there just to see what was going on. I thought I thought the lines would be be gone by then, but this record store day was a really the biggest event they've had so far so even at even at two hours after they opened there was still a, a pretty long line stretched out the door a little ways but I, I got in line and decided to see how fast things moved and things moved pretty fast they were uh, you know you have to go up to the counter and tell them what you want and they pull it for you and then you know you can slide down to the register and so that you know I had one guy pulling things for people and then one guy checking people out so it, it moved pretty decent decently. I had a pretty big list because I knew I wouldn't get everything I wanted. So I just had a big list of, of all the things I was kind of interested in. I, uh, this is what I ended up bringing home with me. Four, four pieces here. Uh, the first thing I got here is the side by side with Devo and the Flaming Lips. This is titled Gates of Steel. Of course originally done by Devo in 1980 and then the Flaming Lips in 2013. It's on this sort of silver translucent 
vinyl. It almost looks like there's like a plastic shopping bag inside there, uh, but a, a pretty nice piece. And I don't, I don't think any, I saw anybody show this one. Uh, got that Devo and the Flaming Lips. Uh, here's another one I don't think I saw anybody show. This is the mystery side by side record for Record Store Day. Uh, I didn't know what this was when I bought it. I didn't, you know, I didn't go out and see what it was, uh, but it turns out it is Rush and Love, 7 and 7 is. Love on the uh, Electra label and Rush on an Atlantic label. This has some neat vinyl to it. The Love side is, is a pure yellow color, and then the Rush side is on sort of an orange yellow splatter, I guess you could say. Uh, so that was really neat. I, I think it's kind of fun to get these these mystery seven inches. I hadn't gotten one in the past. Apparently, nobody wanted this this year because they were they were easy to come by. I like it, so I grabbed one. Those were six ninety eight each for the seven inches is what I what I paid at my store for the seven inches this year. All right, and then the LPs. First thing I got here is Outkast's debut album, Southern Playlistic Cadillac Music. Uh, 93 is when this was. Yeah, 93. Just a classic album for me. Definitely being someone from the south that was heavily into hip-hop at the time this came out you know this is a is a classic unfortunately there's like five songs that are missing on this uh, the original vinyl pressing had those songs missing as well this sort of this is uh, basically a, an exact replica of the original vinyl pressing of the album uh, I would have liked to have seen them maybe you know make it a double album set and have the entire album on here but this is uh an edited, an edited, but a condensed version of the album, I guess you could say. Uh, missing uh, one of my favorite songs on here, just my funky intro to let you know. I would have liked to have seen that on here, but just a very basic pressing on the face records, uh, like you know exactly how it would have been originally in '93. So, got that. Uh, that was twenty-four ninety-eight, I believe. And the last LP I got is the Flaming Lips Seven Skies H3. Very reflective here. This is a, another condensed album. This is a condensed version of their 24-hour song that they did that came inside the skull. Uh, there were only 13 copies of that released, I think. Uh, and it was on a, on a USB drive, I think, is how that was released. But this is a 50-minute excerpt from that album, and I hadn't heard it before. Uh, so it was pretty cool to hear this beautiful silver, silver packaging here, silver foil packaging, uh, and then the vinyl itself is on sort of a uh, somewhat translucent clear vinyl, uh, you know, it's kind of a frosted color almost. So yeah, those were my finds from April 2014, my record store day finds. I uh, hope everyone had a good record store day. Uh, you know, just make make record store day what it is. It's just a, a fun day. Even if you don't buy record store day titles, just go go and hang out at the record store and enjoy the crowd and enjoy the people and uh, enjoy the fun of it. And just you know, go go dig through the regular bins. It's, just, it's it's fun. So thanks for watching my April update. Hope you're doing well. Keep digging those records, and we'll see you again soon. Cheers.